He was the kind of guy that, you know, if, no matter what it was, he's going to stop to help you. Near tonight at 10, tow truck operators from around the state came to Jefferson County to pay their respects to John Hubbard. Investigators say Hubbard was killed in Tuscaloosa County while helping someone on the side of the road. CBS 42 News reporter Matt Fernandez was at the memorial in Adamsville and joins us now live in the studio. And Matt, you spoke to those who knew Hubbard. Lee, I did. Many people who knew Hubbard took part in this scene right here as dozens of tow trucks followed the casket of John Hubbard on Veterans Memorial Drive. With horns honking, tow trucks followed the casket draped in black and yellow as it left Crestview Memorial Funeral Home. I would have loved this. He'd be out here playing with every truck, trying to climb it on and getting it dirty. That's just who John was. The trucks made their way to Pumpkin Center Baptist Church in Walker County. Daniel King worked with John Hubbard. No matter what it was, he's going to stop to help you. You know, whether you knew him or not, if he's broke down on the side of the road and he's seen you, he's going to stop to make sure you're okay. Uh, give you the shirt off his back. Hubbard trained Kurt Kerber when they worked together. A great guy. Uh, you know, always talked highly of him. On December 10th, Hubbard was helping a driver on Interstate 59. Law enforcement said two cars collided and one hit Hubbard. Mike Ashley came to pay his respects. He came from Huntsville. He says people need to pay attention on the roadway. Because there's too many people that are uh, killed on a daily basis. Glenn Hobgood has this message. Please slow down and pull over. And Hubbard was 25 years old, and people paying their respects say he will be deeply missed. Live in the studio, Matt Fernandez, CBS 42 News.